Daddy Jesse. This is Jesse, everybody. Yeah. Woo Fuck you, Jesse. Something's up with Willie. Something's wrong. It's okay. I'll stall him. Our Mosasaur is three to four times as large as a regular Mosasaur because we feed it Mondo burgers. Get off the stage! Hey, shut your mouth. I'll come over there and I will. Whoa, whoa. Oh my god! This is the most anticipated toy, I think, of the whole line. I think it's the same size, but I actually think it might be bigger than... No. Wow, they're actually the same size. Okay. Well, they're the same size. I feel like the Mosasaur one's a bigger size, but I guess it's not. But these Mosasaurs, when you test them out, you, you pull down the action feature, you see a, a, a potential problem there. The toy extends out from the actual cardboard here, and so when you're doing this, it kind of gets in the way and stuff. And it's just like, oh, I'm gonna put myself in the cardboard type of deal. But anyway, that's that. This is the open box packaging. I've said it a million times, it looks cool. Indominus Rex skin, you get to play with the toy. The back of the box looks pretty sweet. This is a very cool toy. If it's not the most anticipated toy, what can I say is? Probably the Stomp and Strike T-Rex. And then this is number two. So let's do an unboxing. My dad said that, is the Mosasaur coming out? I'm like, yeah, but I haven't seen it yet. He's like, oh, that was the real hero of the movie. And I was like, you know what? I think you're right. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Be very careful. Cool. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh. So that should be everything but this guy right here. Ooh. I like it. Let's get the guy out. Taped. Are awesome two and a half inch figures. I'm being very sarcastic when I say that. All right, let's get into the, the nitty gritty first. The vehicle attack play sets. Ooh, his head moves? Uh, the vehicle attack play sets come with these really crappy two and a half inch figures. They're really nothing special. Pretty much all of them, their articulations is that both their arms move up and down. Fight, fight, fight. Their head moves on a half swivel and their legs move pretty much together. Not that great. The detailing is not too bad on the guy. I'm not gonna lie about that. It's just that two and a half inches, that's stupid as hell. This is like a dollar, not even a dollar store figure. This is like a, a quarter machine toy. Like you get your little plastic ball with the color cap and this is what you get. So this is actually really cheap. We got this Spider-Man Carolina Panther blue Spider-Man web I'm assuming comes out of the sub here. This sub looks kind of cheap. It's got, I think it might be mostly the paint job. It's decent size. I'm not going to lie about the size. I assume that goes in there. That actually shoots off very nice. That's actually pretty nice. Okay, I'm not going to lie. That. That's cool. It's got a strong spring in it. The paint job of this guy is pretty bland. It's a decent size. This button on top right here moves the arms up and down so you can I guess play with the Mosasaur with that way. I mean, the, the claws pinch open and pinch close. 
a big deal if the arms are short. It's, it's, it's okay. It's got fans on the back. That's probably the worst detailing of them all. You got some screw holes. You got one, two, three there. They're not that noticeable. They're really not that noticeable. This is not that bad of a vehicle. It's probably the best one if it's not the gyrosphere one. So let's see if we'll put them in. And we roll them out and the sub door opens and we can put a guy in. Just one guy. All the vehicle things are just one person. And boom, there he is. That was really easy. But that's pretty much what you're supposed to do is the Mosasaur comes and attacks. Oh gosh, okay, so if you take him out, he's gonna do that. He's gonna get stuck. His little fins. And see what'll pop him back in. I might as well just come out anyway. That's pretty interesting. The door kind of just flops and that's it. There's no like little hinge that holds it down. And then there's the interior of it if you can see. Put this guy back in and have him attack again. It's weird because he when you put it in, he goes in and then he like kinda like falls in even further. He leans back even further. It looks like he's laying down, so that's not very good. I'm having a little bit of difficulty with my left hand, maybe because my left hand isn't as coordinated as my right hand. But the action feature of the Mosasaur. That's pretty much it. The Mosasaur can what the hell? Well, there we go. The Mosasaur attacks and latches onto the front door and he whoop, flops open. So I didn't touch a thing and it opened up automatically. That's not good. I guess the latch isn't that great for this thing. But I don't know what the point of the lobster claws is if the Mosasaur can just directly go there. It'd be interesting if you know the lobster claws actually had an effect and could grab onto stuff like the fins here. But the Mosasaur's head is already gonna attack the glass there, so what's the point? I don't know, I guess people aren't really thinking at Hasbro for the Jurassic World line. This isn't that bad of a sub though. It's it's okay. I mean, you're not buying these vehicle sets for the vehicles, you're buying them for the dinosaurs. Officially a marine reptile. So let's talk about them. Sliding dino damage like the rest of these vehicle play sets. Paint job, very good. Paint job is very awesome. It's got this like like a dark teal, and then a light blue teal, and then it fades down to white. And it's not like a white, it's like an off-white, it's like a cream. It looks very, very realistic. I like it a lot. The JW logo also is like, it looks like a green. The JW logo is like a very dark green, contrast with the toy. Head sculpt, the head looks kind of weird. It's like a very thick neck, very big head, but you see how awesome paint job is very cool paint job I think this might be the best paint job of the whole line this this paint job is very nice the action feature is pretty cool if you're just holding the animal as is you got one hand on the torso and back and the other hand does the action feature but like I was doing earlier doing it with the sub it's kind of difficult because you got your one arm and you're, and you're trying to move the fin with the head but the action feature also moves this tail, this back end of the tail. It's probably because my hands are too big, but if I'm holding it with one hand and playing with the other hand with, with the sub, I can't really fluidly open the mouth with the fin because my left hand, the, you know, the, hand, the whole hand, maybe because my hand is so big, but my hand extends past this little notch here that moves the tail up and down as it head does with the trigger function of the fin. So it's hard to play with the action feature if you got big hands. Kids should not have a problem at all. Kids should be okay. But if it went down, it wouldn't be a problem. I don't know. But then again, I mean, people with big hands like myself are not going to be playing with these, I don't believe. So you never know though. The sculpt itself, let's talk about the head and then we'll get into the screw holes. The head looks amazing. Very nice detailing. This rivals the Dimorphodon head. The Dimorphodon head is very detailed. Got lots of bumps and textures. And it, it feels like a real reptile. That's what you want from your toys. At least when you're doing a hard plastic. If you're doing a rubber field like the old school Kenner stuff, it's going to feel realistic too with the ribs and the rubber. But if, you want, if you're doing hard plastic, or a soft plastic, you want to have as much texture as possible, and this thing does. Teeth, good luck finding one that has good teeth. I've looked at, probably say four, and this one's probably got the best one out of all of them, teeth-wise. It doesn't look that great, but I mean, teeth are easy to repaint. Just get yourself an off-white, a yellow, and you're okay. 
the rest of this blue will be pretty much hard to find. The eyes are this cat-like looking eye sculpt. It's got this like doofus looking thing going on here with no teeth in the middle. And then when you open the mouth, you can see it's very much a toy. It's got slit. It's got like this like Y shaped thing. It like does a little cut downward. And there's no paint at all for the the red to continue into there. It's just all this blue base, this light blue base. And the detailing has got like this dark blue or black possibly line. It goes in the pit here of the skull and then in the middle crest here. Very good detailing of the, I would say, of the paint job. I mean, the mouth, yeah, it sucks, but I guess what you expect is Hasbro. The head sculpt also has your two breathing nostrils up top. The Mosasaurs are, they breathe what air? Kind of just like whales come up so that's a nice little cool detail for this head sculpt like i said the head sculpt is very nice the belly is this is like probably the worst of the whole sculpt it's hard plastic and they, they kind of give it this rib looking design but you got this the line for the plastic in the middle there and it kind of takes away but then again it's the bottom of the animal you're really not going to see it that much but that's the worst part of it the tail is one of the best parts of it it's a, it's a soft, is it a rubber? I'd say it's a rubber. And it's it's flexible, but it's not gonna move. And it's got, you know, the little shark-like tail. And it feels great. This feels like a Kenner toy. Feels nice. I really like it. I like the scales, really cool. The scales kind of flatten out for the body. The detailing, it just pretty much goes amazing, bland, and really nice. The fins are, they pretty much feel like the tail. They're like a rubber. I would not try to you know keep touching them or breaking them because you might. The sliding dino damage has like this red. It looks real. It looks like you know real guts. Three random bones. They're supposed to be like you know rib cages or whatever. You know, it's probably too far back for that. But it looks real. The, the red paint does and the sculpt of it. Problem is, it only goes like two thirds of the way. It's kind of weird. I don't know who designed that. But if you think about it for the engineering, this is a very short roof for the sliding door. So that's probably as you know, far back as they could have gone for the sliding dino damage. To be honest with you, I really don't like sliding dino damage. I think it's kind of cheap, it's kind of a gimmick. Is it cool at first? I thought, yeah, it was amazing. I saw the prototypes on the Jurassic Park toy form. I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. You're not gonna lose your pieces. But it's just like, eh, you can pinch your fingers, not on this one, but on the Indominus. You can pinch your fingers and I can just see it being very annoying from time to time. It's pretty much just going to be open the whole time. It's barely going to stay closed. Because when you grip it, you're going to grip it about there. And look what happens. Sliding down, damage opens. So overall, the toy, it's a pretty good size. It fits my hand nicely besides the action feature being messed up. Let's try right-handed for the action feature. It's a little better. So if you're going to be playing and you got big hands, use your right hand. God, those screw holes. Five of them. Yuck. And you have it like this. They couldn't have painted that like the off white, the bottom to match it, because you see the trademark stuff's actually right here. They chose to put this, whatever number this is, right in black. And it's weird because that is against the wall for the packaging. So you're not going to see it if it's some kind of factory thing. But they need to find out what wave or whatever this was produced. So that's kind of odd. So yeah, screw holes, eh. But overall, it's a nice size. The size, it's kind of weird because these vehicle playsets. Nothing's really in scale with each other, and they're not in scale with anything old. So we're going to get into com some comparisons here. Let's do humans first. You and Kenner Dr. Grant. This could be like a juvenile Mosasaur. This is Dr. Grant. The spring for the bottom of the mouth seems to hold pretty well, at least when you have them in there and you're kind of just like walking around. They're gonna, It's going to fall out eventually, though, because the head moves and also the jaw moves. So the spring's nice. It's, it'll hold them up okay. Let's try a Jurassic Park 3 Alan Grant because this one's smaller and lighter. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. It took a while for him to come out, so very play compatible with the Mosasaur. And let's go with like a small dino. Trike. Done. And of course, I gotta do it. Mosasaur and Alan Grant. Try it on. Here we go. 
This actually looks really cool. If you have dioramas in your room, I don't, but if you do that and you're like a collector, this is a really cool in scale, nearly in scale setup here. So if you have like, you know, any kind of figure accessory to run it on, it's gonna be very, very awesome with this in it, with this in the Mosasaur's mouth. They were made for each other. Let's do just two quick Legos. I got the, the Dilophosaurus. The Dilophosaurus is pretty much the same exact size as the Raptor. And since there is no Lego Mosasaur, I just wanted to show if this was compatible with each other play-wise. Is it? Not really. No, yeah, not really. Oh well. But, might as well put it out here. The Indominus Lego and the Mosasaur. And it's not in scale at all. You can try to have your play times with them, but not really in scale. I can't really recommend it for you. You know, I keep them in the box because I, I, I mean, I'll do a review on it, but I want to keep this in the box because it's freaking sweet. This is, without a doubt, the best vehicle set. They are like the exact same size. That's crazy. Well, that's interesting. They even have like almost the same exact size dino damage. That's weird. It really doesn't, eh, it kind of works. You can have it. It's better than using this in the bad boy. Might as well just get to the bad boy. Boom. And you see it's nowhere in scale. Maybe in real life, but you know, the movie, the Mosasaur is like three times bigger. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, fellow dino nerds. The Mosasaur in the film is ridiculously huge. It's like probably twice as big, maybe three times as big in the film that it is in real life. So I don't know if this would be really in scale or not, but obviously in the film, nowhere near the scale. So the chomping, the Mosasaur a little bit closer in scale. The chomping is a little smaller. So, um, I mean, once again, this is the only Mosasaur we have. It, it just brought the bad boy. They really need a big Mosasaur. They need a bad boy-esque Mosasaur. That'd be really awesome to have a big, like, I'm talking big one. That'd be really cool to have. There's actually going to be an Indominus Basher Biter coming out. So, I guess the Indominus Basher Biter will be compatible with the Mosasaur right here. Because this Allosaur Theropod is... It's the same size as the Spinosaurus, and that's it. It's pretty close to movie scale wise. This vehicle playset, it pretty much is a basher biter anyway. Never really thought about that until right now. A little bit bigger. Yeah, they're, they're really big. Really, maybe too big for the Moza. Not really in scale at all. This Delo is pretty much the same size as the Moza. Ugh. And I have one last basher biter for you the herbivore, the Pachycephalosaurus. Gotta be like a, a juvenile Moza or a baby Moza, and this is like you know, an adult packy. So, those are all the Basher Biter guys. Will it float? That is the question. We have our Mosasaur vehicle playset, and we're gonna find out if it floats or not. So, let's do this. I recommend you do not try this at home. Uh, it seemed to fix the, the spring problem. Wow. Okay. I, uh, yeah. Probably still not a good idea. The water could get between the plastic creeks and probably produce mold. But, I mean, I don't know if kids, I don't know if there are any toys that have, like, metal creeks that water can get into that kids play with underwater. Probably not a good idea to do this at all, but hey, we're in depth reviews. We do everything around here. I probably uh, wouldn't doubt some people's parentings that they actually do this. I'm really dumb to do this, but I don't care. I think this thing's going back to the store because I noticed another paint defect. You bastards at Hasbro, I'll show you. You'll see. Where are you? Show me. Where's the painting thing? There it is. Look how ugly you are. Damn it, it's broken. Hasbro, you can't get any good paint. People at their China factory. All these damn Mosasaurs have paint defects. But yeah, there she blows. She doesn't really float. She's probably taking a lot of water. Yup. Don't put your Mosasaur in the tub. Don't be an idiot like me. But this is going back to the factory. Let's try to sub in the human, shall we? Fuck this sub. Well, uh, kind of floats. This actually looks better underwater as an underwater toy than the, the, the piece of crap that we get. Will the thing shoot off underwater? 
no. There's your answer for that. And yeah, don't put this underwater either. Die! Get killed by the Mosasaur and the Tyranodon. Does the arms move underwater? No, arms do not move underwater. Yep, pretty much solidifies that you should not be doing this. But hey, that's what we do! I, I guess it doesn't float. Maybe next time we'll do an iPhone. So what are we going to give this set out of 10? Hard to say. The submarine is eh. The figure, of course, sucks, per usual. But the vehicle isn't right when I'm you know, about to give it some positives. It won't close. Does yours close? Let me know in the comments below because it's kind of a piece of crap. But uh, the Spider-Man web thing is very, very, very nice. Very strong spring. I really like that. That's hands down the best part of this. Besides that, it's eh. The Mosasaur is the reason why I buy this set. And the, the wine. You can also move these fins here. So here we go. You're still gonna get the wine. You get the wine with the, uh, the Indominus vehicle set. This one actually doesn't whine that much. So that's good. But it seems this one whines. I mean, like, what do you expect? It's Hasbro. This set out of 10, what are we going to give it? I think we're just gonna give it an eight. I feel like it deserves a solid eight. Hold on, son. Did I just hear you give that an eight out of 10? <laughs> this piece of monkey trash ain't worth an eight out of 10. It's worth a six, son. Oh, and that's the bottom line. Cause Stone Cold said so. Stunner. So. That is it for the Mosasaur vehicle set. Good luck finding these guys. I recommend you probably, if you can't find them in store, stop wasting your time finding them in the wild. You're not going to because the scalpers got them. Go to HasbroToyShop.com. I'll leave you a link in the description below. Who's flying it? Have you boys served in the armed forces? Afghanistan, sir! Major General of Line of Malawajo! What? Target is headed south towards 